Hello everybody and welcome back to another Double Masters Draft as we crack open another pack and see what sweet sweet rares we can come up with. Looks like we got a Green Sun Zenith. Search library for a green creature card put on the battlefield. Eh, it's alright in, in, in some sort of ramp deck but not too exciting. Master Biomancer is pretty solid. Each other creature control enters with a number of additional plus counters equal to its power. So at baseline, it gives all your creatures that enter after at plus two plus two. That's pretty good. Um, Terminate strong, killing creatures really good. Rift bolt's okay. The spend on it, I don't find super useful. And three mana deal three sorcery is not that strong either. So it's, you know, it's got problems, but it's not bad. Um, I don't know. I kind of want to try to build around this biomancer. I don't know what you do with it exactly, but it seems sweet. The question is what card goes with it, because Terminate is the second best card, but it's completely different colors. Maybe I just take it anyway, and we see where we end up. I think that's not bad. I could take Experiment 1, because it's good with it, like if you go in the same deck, but let's just take the two best cards, and we'll see where we end up. I think that's not an unreasonable way to draft. And, you know, chances that we play both of these in the same deck are quite slim, but... <clears throat> it it maximizes the chances that we play one of them at least. So we I think the fours are gonna end up here. Seems about right. Yeah, we'll see how this goes. I mean this card is powerful. They pretty much have to deal with it or you're gonna you know your stuff's gonna be really big. And if you can buff it anyway, that's obviously insane. And he's each other creature you control, so yeah, enters. So you can play this with tokens as well, though tokens are mostly white-black, so also not really a thing with this, necessarily. Frequent Liege. Well, it's kind of a thing. It is four mana. Bant Charm. It's basically a removal spell, which isn't bad. There's a Sky Knight. Sky Knight is a combo with this kind of i guess this card has sort of impressed me i haven't tried the blink archetype yet this could be good in there not super excited about creekwood liege we've done the sultai soothsayer thing a lot so i think i might take the sky knight here and we'll see where that ends up Ooh, prophetic bolt sonic symbiont are both interesting Got the River Hoopoo. Nice and cheap. Ooh, there's a Rancor. Rancor is pretty good. Task Guard. So this thing is real expensive. Prophetic Bolt, same thing. I think Rancor here. I actually think this is kind of legit. If you can get some early pressure out and then just throw a Rancor in something. Don't mind this either, but... It's definitely slower. Yeah, I think I want the faster card. This terminates looking like it's probably not going to make the cut now. Let's see, so land one, two. Yeah, okay, I have these in the right order. That's good. Uh, what is this? Can we cast multicolored spells with this? No. Second rancor is interesting. Um, burning tree. I don't think we're quite there. I think it's between second rancor and settle. But you know what? Let's. Let's do it. Let's go all in. Double Rancor. We're going to look for aggressive creatures. Suit them with the Rancor. And hey, it's kind of a combo with Biomancer. If you throw Rancor on this thing, and all of a sudden your creatures get huge. So that's kind of cool. This is just a very annoying card to deal with. Okay, there's a Rot Farm. It's not quite on color. What the heck is this thing? 8 mana, 5, 8, Flying Shroud. All damage that we dealt to use, dealt to it instead. Is that even good? It's really expensive. I don't think I'm that excited by it. 5 mana, gain just some life. Heal Umbra. Uh, I could take a Seeker. Seeker plus Rancor is sort of a combo. I do want to be aggressive, and these are the three colors I'm playing. I don't think this card's very good. Especially not if we're casting it at full cost. Rod Farm's not bad, but I'm just going to take Seeker of the way. Card's been decent. Okay, Boros Garrison's also partly on color. Oh, there's another Sky Knight. All right. 
I need to start picking up Cryptic Spire soon, but for now, let's just go aggressive creatures. Okay, there's the Blink. No land in this one. I could take Travel Preparations. Ooh, maybe that's better than Blink. Blink is good with the Sky Knights, sort of, but Travel Preparations is just a lot of value. I'll take it. Works with... Let's see, it does target, yeah, so it works with Heroic, finding Heroic things, which we kind of have started down that path, right? Ooh, this is a tough one, actually, because Cryptic Spires I need, because I need mana. But Experiment 1 and Jeskai Elder actually are both quite good here. Jeskai Elder Rancor is, like, kind of gross. What's this thing again? Let me look. Yeah, it's pretty good, but... I think I have to take the Spires because we need to start fixing our mana, but I, I would like an Experiment or a Jeskai Elder. I think it would be good. Uh, here I'll just take the Bondkin. It's not the most exciting, but it's an early card. And I can start throwing some things on. Hyena, Umbra, Spell Pierce, Knightly Valor. All reasonable, to be honest. Hyena Umbra gives first strike. I think I take Spell Pierce on the board for now. It's definitely matchups where this can get some people. I hate to start. We just gotta stay. I think we gotta stay low to the ground aggressive. Um, this thing's gonna be like the top of our curve, which is maybe a little bit awkward. Maybe that shouldn't be the top of your curve, because then what are you buffing after you play it? But oh well. But if you can go like two drop into Sky Knight and just start really pressuring them, it's pretty strong, I think. Slowing down our packs. Skew bed. Yeah, so we're looking for aggressive creatures. Need a bit more fixing. And yeah, I mean, obviously, could use removal and stuff. We don't have any interaction at the moment outside of the Sky Knight's attaining stuff. All right, our next pack has arrived, and it's a choice between another Cryptic Spires and Ambuscade and Last Breath for removal options. I think the Ambuscade stuff we can pick up later. Let's just take the land here. Feels like you want that. Uh, still don't want Pillar. I guess I'll take a Comball. This card's kind of annoying if we somehow end up getting all the colors. Uh, I'll take an Elon Bra. I don't expect I'll run this main deck, but sure. So a creature card from the graveyard. I mean, not likely to happen. Mindable Thros is okay. Alright. Looks like our rares are a big miss here between Bendlam Reveler and Thraxamundar. Uh, I like Flicker Wisp. That's a pretty good one. Chronicler, not as exciting in this deck. We don't have a lot of counter synergies. Experiment one's pretty good. Seeker and Jeskai Elder are both pretty good. I'm definitely thinking the Flicker Wisp, because, I mean, it's another good flyer. Um, and Flickering Sky Knight's going to be pretty strong. So I don't mind that. Question is, which of the cheap cards am I most interested in? It might honestly be Jessica. The trigger on this is quite good. I mean, so is this one. Life is not bad, but... Or is it just Experiment 1 and we try to go off with Experiment 1? Hmm. One drops are nice. I will say that. There's also the Rhino. I have a couple of spells I can target it. That's pretty good. Is this card even... Be no, no. I got, I, got, I got to pick cheap cards, right? I just pick experiment one and hope to find some other twos. Bury the Miss Stalker. I mean, if I was red, Cavern of Souls, huh? Don't think that's very good. It's cool that it exists. Um, oh man, it's actually a tough pick because I would love the Sanctuary. I would love the Coiling Oracle, and I really want another Sky Knight as well. If I can just play all Sky Knights all the time, we're going to be in good shape. I just have to take the land. 
It's really good to have a double uncolored bounce land. They're really strong. I think I do. I think I do. I value these very, very highly. Master of Cruelty is fun. Can only attack alone. It's not good for him for a deck, but it is fun. Um, I think I'm just slamming a mana leak here. Love seeing Kozilek randomly. Um, yeah, it feels right. Even though we're like trying to play the board, I think Mana Leak's still good. Don't care about Thrive too much. Don't care about Rot Farm too much. Or these creatures. Yeah, let's just take a little bit of interaction. We got a Gruel Turf. Bring to light as well again. That's a spell now. Uh, hmm. What is this one? Super Super So. Whenever this creature becomes the target, it deals two to anything. Quick two. Kind of interesting. I don't know if this card's good or not, but you know what? I haven't played with it yet, and none of the rest of the stuff is that exciting. Let's give it a shot. Okay, a foil Selesnya Sanctuary. That's cool. Another travel preparations. Another Sky Knight. That's a lot of Sky Knights. So I still value these highly. I think travel preparations is pretty good. I don't actually have a lot of heroic or anything, so it's not that crazy good in here. Like, I'll definitely play a second one, don't get me wrong, but it's not insane. I'm just going to take the Selesnya, and we can chill on the Cryptics a little bit. Oh my gosh. I think every pack has had a Lee of Sky Knight. It's like a Cryptic Spires. What is Myth Realize again? I guess on creatures will put a lore counter, put a lore counter, becomes a Monk Avatar. Okay, it feels really slow. I don't think I care about that. Another mana leak's cool, but like I said, I'm okay with playing all the Sky Knights ever. If you'll have pings, we're going to get absolutely destroyed. But hey, that's a lot of detain. If you can play one of these every turn, lock down their biggest threat, you're doing okay. Fairy's Protection. Life total can't change. Gain Protection. Your permanents phase out. Exile it. It's a very cool card. I suspect Seeker of the Way is better in our deck. We're trying to be low to the ground and aggressive. This is... I don't even know what this is. It's really cool in Commander. Is it good and limited? Feels like no. Yeah, I'm just going to take a Seeker of the Way. Put some travel prep counters on them. Go to town. Alright, there's some Jeskai Elders. I will take one of those. Still love Guided Passage. It's just a hilarious card. Uh, well, it's obviously to get the foil Jeskai Elder, because, you know, why not? Uh, another Seeker, a Rhino, a Spell Pierce. I don't want another Spell Pierce all that much. Do I want to get a 4-drop or just slam more Seekers of the way? I don't have that much prowess happening so I, the seekers aren't necessarily that good i'm, I'm going to try the rhino the rhino's good i think double green on kind of hurts because that does tax your mana quite a bit but the fact that i can throw travel prep or rank run and draw cards pretty nice so I, I don't hate it all right i mean I will play every Lee of Sky Knight. We are past, I guess. Maybe that's a promise I shouldn't make, but it feels like that's true. Uh, if we were playing in pods, I would honestly take the Skeleton Archer, just so people don't have it. But, like, eh. You know, what are the chances I play this? Like, zero? Let's just take the Archer. One less Archer for, for us to get pinged by. Uh, these cards don't do anything. Ooh, a Blink. Stick's not currently very good with a blink. Don't want to thrive. Don't. I already have an Elon. Bro. I'll take the thrive. I guess. Feels like a late blink, but this isn't. I mean, I don't know. This kind of is pretty good with it. Maybe I should just pick it up. So we didn't pick up any cryptic spires, but we picked up two Selesnya sanctuaries, which are better. So I'm okay with that. We do want to not go too crazy on tap lands with this deck because we're trying to be a little bit aggressive. 
Like, obviously, we're still going to be three colors. We can't not have some fixing, but... With two ta or with two bounce lines, rather, I may be looking to play 16 lands, especially with, if our curve stays this low. That's a lot of Sky Knights. The Fairy's Protection last, huh? Okay. I'll see what sweet, 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 sweet things we open in our last pack. I feel like I saw a few experiment ones running around and, and didn't see many come back, so I guess people are snatching those up. Uh, what do we got? 32. All right, there's an extra pick or something. Anyway, looks like we're waiting just a few more people at the end here. I like how this deck's shaping up. It's, it's very aggressive. Um, the Rancors look like they're going to work well. It's a Dramokus Command. That card played really, really well the last time I had it. Granted, it stopped a Lavalanche. It was basically an insane counter spell. So, of course, it's going to look good in that spot. But Breakthrough Dramatic Cards... Another didn't we see one of these already? Uh, maybe it was some some other big black red dumb thing. Uh, I'm gonna take the command. It's yeah. I mean, a fight card is like decent. Uh, I think I take Coiling Oracle. It's not aggressive, but it's still a good card. I think it's better than Seeker of the Way or like Last Breath or whatever. So that's fine. Let's do it. You still slam a rancor on it and be happy about it. So currently we're on 23 with four lands. We're doing well in playables. So things out of the sideboard I might consider in the main deck is Might of Old Corosa Elumbra. Might's pretty good when you have a bunch of flyers. You can just use that to nug their face and then it's still an okay combat trick otherwise. Um that's probably about it. I guess I could play a Thrive if we end up with enough creatures. It's just like my team's bigger, haha, but it feels like a win more a little bit. You have to have a big board for Thrive to be good. The times I've actually seen Thrive cast, it's never really impressed me. It's been like, eh, two or three counters, and that's okay, but paying a lot of mana for it, you have to have a board already. It feels like a lot of those games you're going to win anyway. Really curious how the Slash is going to play. So it gets plus two for cell and every creature becomes the target of a spell. Oh yeah, it has to be the target of a spell, not an ability. Deals two damage to any target. I mean, it's pretty good. I don't know. Even if it's just a plus two plus so on a bunch of our flyers, it's not bad. What's this thing? Flyer draws a card, loses the Oh yeah, okay. It's that thing. Uh scale blessing's not really great for us. There's another travel prep. There's a relief captain. Relief captain's a nice thing to top your curve off with. There's the Ambuscade that we skipped on earlier. Do I want a travel prep number two? Feels like Relief Captain's better. Ambuscade's also okay. We have a lot of three ones. They're pretty good at fighting stuff. Three mana's kind of a lot, but... I think I'm going to take the Captain. I don't mind having another four drop here. Uh, okay, <laughs> double crackling doom's interesting. Maybe we take the ambuscade now. Is that or the falconer? We don't have a lot of plus one plus one counter synergies, and we already have a lot of flyers. It makes this quite a lot worse. It's still a good card, but I think I'll take the removal spell now. Feels pretty decent. Now I want to focus on fixing if we can. Um, we're a little bit short where I'd like to be land wise. We're pretty, yeah, our, our, our mana's pretty tough. This Rhino might not end up making it just because it's double um, double green. I think green's going to be our weakest sort of splash. All right, well, we're going to take the fifth Lee of Sky Knight over the Disciple of the Ring, which I think is good. Spinner and Web in the same pack, funny. Uh, yep, yep, that seems just fine. If one of those Doom Traveler's wheels, I'll probably take it. It can pick up a relief so captain counter. It can pick up a rancor, and it's, it blocks on the ground while we're trying to get in the air. Currently on 22 playables. Still going to prioritize lands very highly. 
As far as actual playables, I still just want more cheap stuff, I think. Maybe another removal spell. It'd be nice to have some better Ambuscade, but sometimes you gotta do with what you have. So yeah, I mean, our game plan's pretty straightforward. We hopefully play a 2 draw, but then we play 15 Leon of Sky Knights. Uh, what is this thing again? Hello? Uh, if one more counters would be put on a creature, put that many plus one, when it dies, you gain life blows power. I mean, again, we don't have a ton of plus one plus one counter synergies, but it's decent. I think I'll just take the Cryptic Spires over this thing. It's like a bear with upside in our deck. We don't have that many things that the counter's on. I do want to make sure I can cast my spells. Dragon Arch, no, five mana to cast, never mind. I was like, that actually might work, but it's way too expensive. Okay, there's another Cryptic Spires. There's another Live Wire Lash. Blink. Do I want the fourth Spires right now? Is this card even good? I'm mean, going to take the Spires, and I think we're good on mana now. Shatter Gang Brothers. I think it God's Willing, it's less good when you don't have Heroic, but like protect your stuff, right? It's that good. So I really want another, I'm going to have seven tap lands. Nearly half my lands are going to be tap lands if I take the Spires. It's probably still correct. I don't know. God's Willing isn't that good. All right, well, I should not have taken the first Cryptic Spires. I wasn't expecting to get just every Cryptic Spires ever for the rest of the draft. I do want some untapped lands in my deck. Splicer is pretty bad. It's like really not that much attack and like it's not that much power and toughness for the cost. And I can take the changeling. It's also not that exciting. All right, I'll take the last breath here. That one's actually a decent sideboard card. Um. Control tax for P3. Do I want one just like really randomly expensive card? Maybe. It's not zero that I play that. Okay, I did say I would take one of these new travelers and I will. Genius Scob maybe is playable. Probably not, but maybe. Right, this probably means the anointer can get on out of here. The card's just whatever. It's 24. I could play 16 lands. I have two bounce lands. My curve's not that high. Feels okay. Now my fixing's really good, so I guess the rhino's less of an issue. I cast a spell that targets it. I have three spells that can target it. It's not even that many, but it's it's a 4-4-4 four, four, four with trample. It's not bad. And 17 and 7. I like all my non-creature spells. I like all my creatures. I think I'm happy with this. Just got to figure out how these spires and stuff work. Um, so I have two green-white here. And I have how many of these? One, two, three, four, five. I have six of these. Six spires, two bounce lands. Might be excessive, but here we are. Okay. Um... So we do one like this, three, two. Sure, so we'll change this one to white green. I guess let's keep that at white blue for now. Green, blue, uh, green, blue. Let's say that Gives us eight more lands. And literally half our lands come into play tap. That's pretty tough for an aggro deck, but I think it's what you have to do in this format. Uh, all right. Green is the color I need the least early other than experiment one, but I still want a decent amount of it. We currently have already five. It'd be nice to have like eight. Let me swing that. Let's see, white we have six currently okay so we can go eight and then blue this is five so this is eight 
eight lands, the taller lands. This is my it's still eight 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 even with all these tap lands. Is that really true? Feels like that can't be true. I have so many double lands. I mean, so I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So it's almost like I'm playing 24 lands in terms of colors, but I guess that is exactly 888. So yeah, math checks out. All right, let's do that then. Then do I want this Rhino? Would I rather play either Anointer if I do get a bit flooded, it's a little bit of flood protection, or like something cheap, like another combat trick. Um, a spell pierce and elambra, something like that. That might be better. Just don't have to worry about that green mana so much. Um, let's see, this is 16 creatures. It's a good amount of creatures. It's tempting to just play a combat trick. I have some seekers the way. I think this is better than the elambra. All right. Well, I'm going to take a screenshot. I'll see you in round number one, see if we can run some people over. All right, welcome back, everybody. Here we are for match number one. We'll be on the play. Doomed Traveler, Leonov. Okay, this looks keepable. Yeah, this looks good. So your Cryptic Spire's on one. We'll play our Doomed Traveler, play our Celestine Sanctuary, and then try to get our Sky Knight out. Okay. Go. I guess I didn't have to play this, but it feels fine. All of Elements. All right, well, not exactly the card you want to detain, but I don't mind. Get in for one. And then we just slam our Master Biomancer, I guess. Next turn we potentially have Rancor plus another Sky Knight. Hey Squire doesn't bother me too much. Into Wall of Omens. Do we get to know if they keep it on top with Explore? Oh, they put it on Grave. Okay, so they don't want another Wall of Omens, which makes sense. We have a Flyer out. Alright, well let's attack with this. And see if they have removal. They don't have removal. I think they're just dead. Because this thing's going to be a 4-4. Four, four, and that means our next creatures are going to come in with 4 plus 1 plus 1 counters. That feels really tough to beat. Uh, path to exile. Okay, well, I will use the ability. I'll get myself a white source, I think. That's a good card. Basilica, sure. Yeah, they don't even want to attack into the Doom Traveler. Oh my gosh, that's a lot of Sky Knights. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so I can play both my creatures here. Uh, let's slam with the Knight. Let's play another one. Detain their squire. They have removal for it. They're going to blink their wall. Okay, sure. Don't care about that too much. And then we're going to play Seeker. I mean, they draw a lot of cards, so if this game goes long, they might win, but we're putting a lot of pressure on here. Depending on how they tap, I could do some pretty nasty things next turn here. Wow, they're just drawing more cards, okay. It's going to be pretty tough. Experiment one, okay. How much mana do I have? One, two, three, four, five, six. I can literally play my hand, so I probably should. 
Am I detaining the wall or the squire? I think the wall. I put the rancor on the seeker so that it gets prowess, so it becomes a 5-3 with trample. Uh, and then we detain the wall with the sky knight, so that means I have to play everything. So let's start here. Hope they don't have a removal spell for one. Okay, okay, okay. Then we go experiment one for a green. Then we go Sky Knight. Uh, detain your wall. And they're done. All right. Well, they sure drew a lot of cards. Uh, they're a blink deck. Okay. I, I don't think that informs our sideboard a whole heck of a lot. Uh, I could play the last breath. Kills the wall of moments. But do I care about that? Eh. Spell Pierce didn't look that good. I mean, it's okay. I think I'm happy to run it back. We'll see how game two goes. Once we have a little bit more information, I can make better choices. Felt like they weren't maybe that great against aggression, which is good because that's what we're trying to do. Alright, here we are for game two. I'm going to keep this hand. We're obviously missing green mana, but we have some good action early here. So I don't mind that. What's this? Wall. Okay, well, I was just going to play the Jeskai Elder. Now it's a little less obvious, but I guess I can play Sky Knight next turn and still get in. So it's probably fine. I would like to get some looting going here. Okay, that's a lot of Walls of Omens. Claiming Oracle, not quite what we're looking for. I mean, I guess I still play this and just start pressuring them in the air. Sand didn't develop very well, though. Their own Seeker of the Way, sure. Into Doom Traveler, all right. Okay, Sanctuary is not the worst. Uh, let's attack. And I think I'm just going to try to be mana efficient here. Rather than worrying about what the best card necessarily is. Got some good prowess going here. What's this do again? They can fight. Fighting could be good. Make them second enchantment doesn't seem that strong. Yeah, we're mostly going to be trying to win in the air here, I think. It looks like the ground's pretty gummed up. They probably have a bunch of blinks lined up. Yeah, I can't imagine blocking anything in this situation, so... Just take it. Certainly don't want to block the Doom Traveler and give them a 1 1 flyer. That would be pretty bad. Okay, that's interesting. Uh, now I have to figure out what I'm actually doing. I probably want to try and keep Mana Leak up, which means I'm casting one of these two drops, I guess. Good deck with everything. They're gonna like block, I pump, and then they just blink their wall. That's pretty bad for me. I'm just gonna attack in the air and then keep up mana next turn. Seems good. I don't think I want to get into this ground fight. I might as well play the land. That feels okay. The Oracle's too much of an issue in terms of trying to maintain my mana, so I'm just going to play the Bondkin here. Now we have mana for Scab. If we want to block, we can mana leak something. It's all good things. I'll get the Oracle down eventually. This mana leak's looking like it's going to get worse and worse, but what can you do? Alright, well I will block the Seeker now. 
still not looking to block the Doom Traveler. Okay. I guess I don't have Dromoka's command up, which is a little bit of a shame. Okay, they're gonna blink their wall. I mean, that's fine. Yeah, wall blinks. It's totally okay. I'm gonna go ahead and pump my guy by one here. Let's see what else they might have. Even if they ultimately win this battle of spells, like Disingenuous Scab is not doing a lot on this board, so I, I don't really mind. I do want to stop the bleeding. We have plenty of random stuff to throw on the ground. Sky Knight's the key here. Alright, that's just happening, sure. Alright, that worked out just fine. We have another Selesnya Sanctuary. Interesting. Uh, well, I certainly attack in the air, because I'm going to keep doing that. I guess now I just play the Oracle and play another Sanctuary or something. Kind of want to outlast, too. Let's see what we draw, though. We could get a land. There we go. We got a land. Nice. Okay, so now I can outlast while also keeping up the mana leak. That's really good. So let's do that. One, two. What's this? Oh, it's blinking again. I'm going to let that resolve. And then I'm going to play Slicing Sanctuary. Bouncing it. Uh, sure, an island that really matters too much. And the bondkin will someday do something, maybe. Running out of gas a little bit here. This, this sky nut needs to do a lot of heavy lifting. But we can eventually start attacking on the ground. These walls are just defenders, after all. If we get enough random ground things, then things start getting through them. The Doom Traveler is annoying while we have the Sky Knight, but eventually, if this ever dies, that stops being as much of an issue. Um, we were supposed to leak that just because this leak isn't doing much, probably, but I don't know. They could cast two spells in turn. It's definitely possible, or just something gigantic, like whatever this is. Yeah, I'd rather you didn't. All right, we got our own doomed traveler. Okay. Well, it's stuck in the air. Keep up mana for Dromokas. So that's basically a Selesnya Sanctuary. So one, two, one. Yeah, I should be able to just play everything. Play the Seeker. Outlast. There we go. Sacrifice and enchantment. Prevent damage from a sorcery. Fight. But a counter. Okay. So I can give something else first strike with the counter. That's kind of cool. Severed strands on, on the bondkin. Interesting. Uh, yeah, I can't do a lot about that. So fine. Gives them a spirit token. Let's see what else they have here. All right. Crypt expires. Not the draw I was looking for. Um, 
I think I do this now. We try to put a counter on the Sky Knight and fight the spirit with like Seeker. Yeah. Uh, put a counter, fight. Okay. Counter, fight, fight. We hope it resolves. I mean, it's only so much we can do. Our opponent does have a lot of card advantage happening. I suspect they have some sort of blink card, but it doesn't work that well against when I have a token here. Or when I'm fighting the token, rather. They have like a settle beyond, that'll be bad. I'm not sure if that's an instant or not. Okay, they can blink a wall, that's fine. Doesn't change much. All right, well, that worked. Let's jam with everybody. I'm going to keep this land in hand. I don't really need it. There's some chance that just Hailder gets in someday. All right. They could blink this again to deny me the lifelink. Ah, they have the path. All right, that's annoying. I would like to use it. Let's get a green, sure. Well, we have four Merlin of Sky Knights, so hopefully we'll draw some someday. Uh oh, six drops aren't good for me. Okay, well, that's annoying, but at least my card wasn't too relevant here. But now they have a flyer and I don't anymore. It's pretty annoying. can't even mind game attack with the Seeker because they just have walls to block with it. Or to block it with, rather. Oh, that's pretty good. Um, Alright, so... I guess I just detain the flyer and slam with everything. Yeah, okay. One, two, three... Detain that... Attack. I mean, if they have another blink, then I guess they can get me real good, but. So they're ramping some big stuff. This Rock Skull and the Symbiote are both pretty annoying. Oof, or Doom Traveler. Like some pain. Have more strands? Sure feels like it. I'll cycle on Earth, huh? Yeah, it makes sense. Okay. There's the Rancor. Oh no, what do they have here? Oh, they're gonna blink the Symbiote? That's gross. That's really gross. Alright, well. Annoying. I will attack in the air. All right. Kind of needed that Rancor. Reveal the path to exile. Wow. We have two of them. That's kind of wild. I think uncommon in this set. I guess it is. Feels like we're losing this one. It's kind of slipped away from us. We're not like dead anytime soon because our uh, third deck's not very offensively minded, but we're not really getting through. Okay, Ambuscade. 
guess I just hold on to this one. Ambuscading like a squire or whatever doesn't do anything. So if they try to make me discard it, I'll use it. But for now, let's just see if we can save it for some kind of big flyer or whatever they might have as an instant. Sure. I don't know, maybe I should be keeping those in hand as well. Let's see if they actually have a win condition that we've killed a lot of their big stuff here. I mean, we know they have a path to exile, so I guess that makes the ambuscade a little bit worse, but it's all good. Vampire Sovereign, yeah. Yeah, it's going to be tough to beat. So now I have to draw out their... Okay, Sky Knight's here. I need to draw out their um, path, which hopefully the Sky Knight will do. And then I can kill the vampire here. Blood Artist. Ooh, that's a really strong card. Not a fan of that one. Uh, I could block with my own Doom Traveler. That way I have a double block lined up for the big vampire. Let's try it. It's annoying that they get Blood Artist triggers, but... I'm at a healthy enough life total that those won't kill me too soon. There's the Rancor. I unfortunately have to keep holding on to this. If I just try to cast it now, it doesn't really work. So, I have to eat, I have to make them use their path to exile, and then I can start casting some of these spells. They're not even tagging the Vampire Sovereign, that's annoying. Okay, well the one on Flyer I can eat, this I could trade with, but I don't want my Seeker to die. That's actually a really good attack. They're playing this smart. Can't take three. And I'm sad. Mentor. Okay, well, they don't really want to draw more cards, I don't think, so that's not too bad. Might of Old Crusoe. Huh? Okay. That starts to do something. Can use that defensively when they make their little weak attack again. Okay, now they're coming in with the flyer. So now we'll go block, block. They have a disfigure. Okay, well, I can stop that with a might, I guess. Sure. Triggers a bunch of prowess. They're into path, which I'm going to let that resolve. I'm going to use the ability and get a forest. Then I'm going to cast Ambuscade, targeting a creature I control, and a creature I don't control. Gain a bunch of life. And that kind of worked out. They're at 14, I'm at 17. All right. They're at eight cards also, not irrelevant. All right. Where's this ranker going? Probably on the spirit token. 
So if I put on the Seeker... Eh, it's actually not terrible on the Seeker, I guess. It means the Seeker attacks as a 5 this turn. It's more lifelink. If they trade with it, then I have a Rancor again. If they just chump, I'm kind of okay with that too. Yeah, let's do it. Get a bunch of triggers. I can get him with my flyer as well. No reason to attack with the other stuff. All this lifelink's pretty nice. Okay, we take six. That's good. I mean, this continues to attack as a 4-2 trampler, so that's pretty good. Uh, I mean, if they have a trick, they have a trick. I don't think I mind too much. I don't know, maybe they're just trying to stay alive through Blood Artist, but they have a lot of blockers, so I don't think that's really a concern. Ooh, Sky Knight's interesting. Um, no reason to use it this turn. Let's just, well, to detain the walls this turn is what I'm trying to say. Okay, it goes down. The Blood Artist, me, sure. I guess I detain the Squire at this point. Sure. Deep analysis, okay. They sure are running low on cards. I'm still at 16 and they're just drawing more, okay. Well, unless Lab Maniacs in this set, I'm feeling pretty good about this. Yep. Yeah. Turns out just drawing all the cards isn't really good enough sometimes. They have like three win conditions and we managed to kill them all. Cool, that was fun. Uh, it was a nice little burst of uh, exchanges there with the Ambuscade and Might of Old Gross and all that. Um, but we managed to secure the win and I'll see you match number two. All right, welcome back everybody for match number two. Unfortunately, we have to mulligan here. We do have our experiment one, but nothing else. All right, this is going to have to do. It's not a great hand. I should put one of the white cards back. I guess the Seeker is probably the worst one, so let's do that. And we're going to have to hope this Jeskai Elder can do some work. Unfortunately, we're on the draw, so it seems less likely. Maybe, okay, okay. Hmm. Well, we'll see if they play something that can block. If not, I'll just slam the Elder. Lot with troll that blocks Jeskai Elder quite efficiently. That's awkward, I think. Man, I'd love to use this mana leak, but I have to get this down. That's a really awkward sequence there. We're not off to a great start. Hope these Sky Knights can do some stuff for us. Okay, okay, nothing. I like nothing. Ooh, Master Biomancer's not bad. All right. Let's start with Sky Knight. Detain their thing. They're pretty heavy black. Chances are they have some kind of removal here, but... Maybe not, who knows. All right, they're not doing much, which makes me want to keep this mana leak going. Ooh, that's interesting. Um, do I just slam this Rancor? Their removal spell, I can leak it. I do want to keep leak up, so whatever. Let's just go. Let's do this. Just make a 5-1 flyer. No big deal. Yeah, I think given how little they've played, they're probably going to slam something huge, and I want to leak it, so I, I want to have to leak up this turn. 
that will start deploying more threats after that. All right, we're five in the air. Pass. Need our two. See what they're playing here. Yeah, that looks about right. This is why we kept up a mana leak. All right, land. Okay, not the land I wanted, but a land. Um. So let's see. I don't need to detain this turn, so I guess I'll just play the scob. Yeah, that feels okay. This thing's doing a good job chunking them through anyway. Now I have the Sky Knight for if they play some kind of blocker. And then if I can play Biomancer followed by Sky Knight, that's also pretty nice. Change that. Yeah, okay, that's a blocker. Might of Old Crypsa. Uh, I mean, that's pretty good. It's 9 9 if you play it during the main phase. I think I just Sky Knight this turn and just don't play the Might. Uh, do I attack with the Scab? I guess I can regenerate, so there's not a lot of point. Yeah, let's just do this. And I mean, they're down to five. It's gonna be pretty hard to get enough blocking going here. So we're gonna need something pretty good. Okay. All right, well, I'll play my forest. Should I attack with everything or just these things? I don't know if forcing them to spend mana is at all relevant. Probably not. All right, well, let's just attack with both flyers, see what they have. I guess I'd try to play Might here. Gosh, do I? I'm already putting them in lethal range from this Sky Knight. So it's like, if they have a removal spell now, this is really bad, because then I, I lose both Sky Knights. But if they don't have a removal spell, I just win. I think it's worth a shot. Well, we got there against a sort of slower deck, sort of exactly what we want to be facing. Um, not seeing a ton I care about in the sideboard, so I think we'll just run it back as is and see what we can do. I was in a multi six, so can't complain too much. All right, well, it's time to hope we get another good six because we once again managed to get a one lander. Oh, I forgot we have travel prep in the deck. Uh, oof. this isn't the greatest hand, but I, I guess you got to keep it. Um, which looks the worst here? It's, I think it's either might or ambuscade. I don't want to keep both creatures and obviously I need both lands. I think travel prep is going to be decent. It's a lot of power and toughness. This could potentially save me from a removal spell if it's a it's one based on that. Ambuscade could be good. I'll do it like this. It's pretty hard to determine exactly what the best way to go there is. Ideally, we find a third land at some point here. I mean, I guess the perfect scenario is we get a two drop and then a land. Now we're pretty set. Okay, that's kind of that.
So the troll again. Oh, ghost for shaman. Eternal. Wow, they have some good stuff in there. Uh, okay, I can't be keeping up mana leak here. I gotta just play my tap land. Ghost for is gonna get some work done. Three ones, pretty good against me. <clears throat> Okay, they have nothing that's nice. Ooh, a Flicker Wisp. That could be nice. Uh, for the time being, we'll slam one of the Sky Knights. Detain that thing. And we'll just keep playing Sky Knights. Or I guess I could Flicker Wisp a Sky Knight. is kind of the same thing as playing a Sky Knight. Could look for a better target, I guess. And also, if they're keeping up a bunch of mana, I don't want to... Uh, run into anything here, so let's just attack. Play a land, play the Sky Knight. That's the wrong color. Keep on detaining, keep on attacking. Is this the Sovereign? Yeah, it is. All right. Oh, but Ambuscade just wrecks it, right? Because Ambuscade gives plus one, plus so. Oh my gosh, another one. Um, target tree control gets plus one, plus so. Deals damage. I think that's better just to make sure this works. I don't want to leave. I don't want to wait until they have mana up or whatever. So let's just do this. Uh, target tree I control. Target tree I don't control. Two, three. Slam in for seven in the air. And then it's just more Sky Knights all the way down. Okay, they finally found a disfigure. Figured that was bound to happen at some point in this matchup, playing as black. All right, land's nice. Um, I'm going to keep up Mana Leak, I think rather than playing travel prep, since the travel prep doesn't, only has one damage this turn. So one, two, and three. Then if they have nothing, okay, well, they're just dead. Yeah, I mean, the travel prep was lethal, so that was pretty cool. Man. When you just play one of these every turn, it's really annoying, huh? All right, I'll see you for the finals in just a minute. All right, welcome back for the finals, everyone. Looks like we get to be on the play. Uh, okay, we have all our colors. We have some stuff. This looks good. Let's keep it. I'm going to have to decide if I want to play a Seeker or the Sky Knight. Or if I want to play this on Curve or this on Curve. I have the Lash, so it's a little bit interesting. Um, let's lead with the... Actually, I think I lead with this one. Ideally, we draw on tap land. That solves my dilemma. Aha, perfect. All right, so now I can just slam the Seeker. And then we get the Sky Knight and... Let me slow down a little bit. Okay, well, they're just going to disfigure it. That's no problem. Draw Flicker Wisp. Okay. I'll just Sky Knight nothing. Hopefully, you don't have more disfigures coming our way. All of Omens. That is fine. Not very exciting to uh, detain, mind you, but... So how's this work again? It just makes my guy bigger. Okay. Well, let's play the land. Let's attack. I mean, I guess I just play another Sky Knight. It's too bad I'm wasting the detains, but you do. Just Meta Witch. Okay. It's really slow. I'm not super worried about that. We're under a lot of pressure here with all these flyers. Okay, another land. Could play an equip, but I think I'm just going to slam the Biomancer this turn. Yeah, 
have an upgrade this figure? Feels like they would have just played it if they did. Right. This can turn card to battlefield. Oh, this can hit my creatures. That's pretty annoying, but it's fine. It certainly makes equipment worse. Uh, this doesn't really... Sure, I'll play around something weird that I don't know about by playing the land. The holding the land also makes sense for if they have some kind of discard spell, maybe. Detain, permanent can't tag block, activate this. Okay. That is fine, because we get to... Oh wait, this comes back at the end steps. Is Detain's actually less good than I had originally anticipated? Three. Yeah, this is a worse detain, huh? If I just play Lash and slam in. Yeah, but this Flicker Wisp is really big. I guess if the Flicker Wisp, they can then flicker. Maybe this Biomancer is not actually that good here. It's interesting. Because the problem is I can detain this, but then they're just going to flicker it with their Witch, and I'm kind of back where I started. I think I need to play the Lash here. Just throw it on one of my guys and slam. So that's a good bit of damage. Now they can't blink their Vampire Sovereign and my thing unless they do it with a spell of some kind. Seal Heart is totally fine. They just have mono cold seal hearts. That's not really an issue. They're on nine. I can almost kill them here. Ooh, Coiling Oracle, that's a good draw. Um, I guess I'll lead with the Oracle. Sure. Uh, blue, I guess my only blue source, but that's okay. Oh, okay, well that's a good draw. Um yeah, let's play this detain their sovereign. Oh, I don't have blue, right. Never mind. Uh cancel that order. Let's just attack for five again, I guess. Okay. I think I'm going to Flicker Wisp my Sky Knight and actually make their Mist Meadow Witch. Can't attack block, activate those, can't be activated until your next turn. So that just means they can't do it on their turn, they can still do it on my turn, I guess. But that might be useful. I think more so than the random 3-4 flyer there. Not to mention I'm about to have a lot of big flyers. Oh, okay, they're just done. All right. Oof, man, 3-1 flyers all the way. Vampire Sovereign's a card that we need to deal with, apparently, in like a lot of matchups, but... Uh, Last Breath doesn't quite do it. I don't think I want Spell Pierce all that much. I just have a way to kill that stupid witch. I don't think I have much, so we're just gonna run it back. Okay, this looks fine. A little short on lands, obviously, but not so bad. Once again, we're on that awkward spot of like, do you play your stuff or do you hold up your mana leaks? Okay. I think for now I play stuff. Uh, I'm gonna play the Seeker just because it'll look really awkward if I. Yeah, I, I don't actually know. I actually have no idea. I don't have the spare mana really to be pumpkining, so let's just do this. Random growth, okay. Well, now I kind of want to keep up mana leak. Ugh, that's pretty gross. Uh, not feeling lands also really bad. Guess I attack. 
try to leak whatever big thing they're going to try to bring in here to blink. That is a okay. Am I going to play anything? Oof, I draw Selesnya. That is not the land I wanted right here. Let's attack. See if they do anything. Oh, they are doing something. Wait, that's their play? Oh, that is that makes me feel so much better. That's that 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 is their play. Okay. Um let's get down a bombkin, I guess. Play this. They just incredibly flooded, I suppose. Nothing else makes a lot of sense. This travel prep's pretty bad at the moment. So is this live wire lash, but oh well. Um I guess I just attack. I mean they're gonna probably exile something. I still would like to keep up leak in case they play something huge, but maybe I can't afford to. Let's see. My two drops are bad. So I probably want to get Sky Knight down. Oh, well, I guess they're just going to do it after I attack, sure. What? Is this just randomly the best trade of the century, or what? Oh, okay. That's fine. I can play a Might of Old Corosa. Can't leak that. Not very effectively, anyway. Well, I could mana leak it to save my Seeker of the Way. Is that worth it? Trade the mana leak for a Seeker? I don't know if that's worth it. It might be. Because I leak it, they pay for the leak, then I might. The bondkin. The so bondkin becomes like a one-one, and this thing becomes like a four-one. This is actually kind of tricky. I think it's actually right. Yes, let's make sure I don't spend my mana weird. I don't know how Moda does this. Uh, choose that spell. Spend my white. Pay. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Gonna might on this thing. So it's gonna be. Oh boy, it's gonna be minus three, so negative one. Yeah, it's gonna go to one, one, and then that guy gets saved. Yep. Yeah. Oh, so 1-3, right. Okay, so yeah, I actually saved both creatures. That was pretty decent. Now I don't have to deal with Miss Meadow Wish when they have a lot of mana. Feels good. All right, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 mana. Let's get out of travel prep. Sure. Let's attack for seven. Hopefully you don't have a wrath. Uh, then we'll go experiment one into lash. Oh, I should have played that pre-combat. Whoops. Oh, missed the damage. Hopefully it won't matter. Let's see. D 
they did have the damnation. Okay, that's unfortunate. The recluse. All right. Don't love it. Definitely don't love it. Uh, I do have a travel prep in my graveyard still. All right, let's go. Doom Traveler. Jeskai Elder. Color undo. Because that's why they just weren't playing anything. I'll try to detain the recluse next turn and slam in. Oh, they actually just have lethal. Four, five, six. I actually just have lethal. They don't have anything. That's pretty good. Do I still have lethal? Because whenever this becomes the target of a spell, can I target one creature with this? I can, okay. Um, so I give this a counter, it's four or five. Yeah, I just have lethal here. All right, nice. Let's go. One, two, three. Detain you. Travel prep. One, two, pay two. Bunch of triggers. Go to their face. And swing for five. Holy moly. All right. Lots of good aggression getting there for a trophy. Pretty exciting stuff. Um, yeah, I haven't gotten to play an aggressive deck in this format yet, so that was sweet. Um, yeah, not much more to say than that. Hope you enjoyed that. I certainly had a lot of fun playing. If you did, consider hitting like, subscribe, all the YouTube buttons. They help me out. And yeah, that'll do it for this video. I'll see you in the next one. Let's hope we can keep the trophies coming.